Okay, start recording. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Time Warp Art. Um, rather unorganized today and uh, having uh, technical issues, but <laughs> running a little behind. But that's fixed now, I hope. Everybody can see and hear me, so we're, we're okay there. Oh, hey, Paula. Hey, Eileen, Sandy, Carrie, Jonna. And I can't see who else rolled off the screen, but okay. <laughs> anyway, good morning, everybody. So I'm going to start off with show and tell, and then maybe I'll be inspired to do something. I have no idea right now. Um, this is Life Book, um, Lesson 1, A and B. And this is Next Two Lessons. This is the one where she actually made a jar, and I decided I wanted everything in my book, so I made a jar from plastic, um, this plastic, plastic packaging, I think. Anyway, I made a jar and I collaged it and stuck it in the book and it can still hold my awesome self notes. <laughs> and I took the tag and stuck it on here. And uh, this is another pullout where I can write stuff if I want to journal. This was the um, Joanne's lesson. Um, what's her name? Joanne, um, uh, it escapes me. Somebody will type in the chat in a second. Uh, anyway, that's the lesson with the Tombow markers. Um, this is, um, last week's lesson, lesson four. And, um, I've reversed it because it was on this side of the book. I, I'd rather have it facing inward than outward. I just, I'm silly that way, but <laughs> anyway, okay. And then last, uh, this week's lesson actually is lesson five, and I'm not quite done with it yet. Um, I'm combining that there were two lessons. Uh, Tam did one lesson where she did a background and she drew the feather, but I decided I wanted it all on one page. Um, so I'm going to cut this out when I finish doodling on it and uh, put it on my uh, other page, which also has instead of making feathers for that, I've got real feathers and then I'm stamping, oops, stamping on them with the gold ink. So they will go on here somewhere. And I haven't put it in the book yet because I don't know what the next lesson is. And this is very 3D. So I don't want to have to do something fiddly on top of this. So I'm going to wait and tip it in later. Okay, but that's all that's that's with Lifebook so far, and I'm not quite done, but I will finish it before Monday. And like I said, I will tip it in after I figure out what the next lesson is. Oh yeah, my elastic uh, broke on one side, so I just cut it off, and I'm using a hairband to keep it shut, like so. I painted dots on it, kind of like a um, what do you call it? Um, Oh, what are those darn things? <laughs> those little books that everybody went crazy for. I can't remember the name. Hello, brain not working. Sorry. <laughs> Dysfunctional brain this morning, along with everything else. Murphy's Law strikes again, of course. Um, this is the documented life um, journal. Um, it's getting you know, kind of fat, which is cool. I decided to, to stay with this because I really like the soft cover Moleskina and it has all of the, you know, the dates, um, for a year and a half. So, uh, smash book. That's it. Thank you, Jonna. <laughs> smash books. Yeah, those. <laughs> yeah. So I've got a couple, but I haven't done anything with them. They're just sitting in the shelf. Um, Okay, so let me see. What can I show you? Okay, let's start with fiber. Let's let's go with the yarn, and then I don't know where to go from there, so we'll see. But I've become a wool processing plant. <laughs> this is my tea's water fleece. It's all nice and clean. Um, I'm sorting through and pulling out locks, which I am making. <laughs> Got a bracelet thing going on um, with this. Um, also, have been making oops, these 
they're boot toppers minus the boots. Um, I've got them. I had to wash them, so I'm, I had to sit them in uh, cut up soda bottles, um, which seemed a perfect drying area. So what this is, <laughs> Santa's beard. What this is is the locks um, from the sheep that have been dyed. Of course, these have been dyed. These are not dyed yet, um, but um, these are boot toppers. So you make like a oh, see a loose thread. Whoops. You make a um, kind of like a leg warmer kind of thing. Let me grab one. I'll show you. Okay, here's a long one I've got going for my other boots. But you make a kind of a leg warmer type thing where you've got um, your um, ribbing at the bottom. Um, and, um, oh, okay, we'll talk later. All right, guys. Um, and this is the part that's attached where you put your, your um, fringes. Okay, so this is the bottom and this would be the top okay and that's where your fringes go now they can also have see this let's get see isn't that cute <laughs> boot toppers very cute very cute so um yeah so that's what i've been working on and i'm i'm i've got a show um the middle of march and uh, i'm trying to prepare for that and so I'm pulling, uh, pulling the locks. I'm going to make kits um, for this. Um, this can also be, uh, you can do a headband. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. Okay, you can do, you know, the corset wrist warmer, bracelets, uh, you know, all, all that stuff. All the variations. So I've been working on little patterns and, and trying to put kits together and washing fleece and, you know, all of that. <laughs> Oh, so I'm glad I got all the fleece washed because um, yesterday was our last day of sunshine for a while. We're going to get cold again. And it's supposed to rain. I wish it would hurry up. Wash all that cedar away. But um, anyway, that's, that's, what, that's what these are. And these are Teeswater Long Locks. And what I've done is um, put them around the top of the base of the leg warmer thing that I've made. You can kind of see it in there. There it is. Just gray, thick wool. Just short, short, um, like leg warmers. So anyway, that's been keeping me pretty busy recently. Um, trying to get ready for, for the show. Um, oops. And I've got, you know, I've got a ton of things going on here. Um, so let me show you the yarn I'm making. Okay, so here's some of the yarn. Let me move a little fuzzy here. Here's some of the yarn. And I'm making art yarn now, guys. This is this is um, new for me. Um, I usually spin sock yarn, which is very, very fine, like, let me grab. Okay, here's part of my spindle. I've got the top off of it. But you see how tiny that is and how even it is? That's usually what I spin. And so, um, art yarn is way on the other end of the spectrum for me, but it's so much fun. It's so much fun because you never know what you're going to get. I mean, you can try for things and it may turn out totally different. It's just so much fun. Um, but I'm doing bulky and, um, this is a two ply, uh, thick and thin. And, um, that's one one uh, skein and this is a smaller thick and thin and this is an excellent example for what thick and thin I'm talking about you see this thick and thin and so this is done with auto wrapping which um, I don't know if you guys can even see there's a thread that runs through this and I guess you can kind of see it over here. Let me, let me see if I can hold it up. My lighting is not real good um, for this if I can get it. Oh, anyway, there's a thread running through it and you can uh, you can see it if you want. 
there you go. There you can see it on the green. Yeah, you can see it pretty well there. That's called auto wrapping. It's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of fun. So that's another one. This one I love. This is coils. I love this. Let me get, this is my sample. Let me put that up to the camera. Okay, if you can see the coils, you can especially see right here. It's, um, okay, you make a thick and thin. It's a, a multi-step process. You make a thick and thin singles, and then you coil it on a core, and then <laughs> you ply those two together, and this is what you get. So it's very bulky. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in the middle. I'm trying to get the light, but I guess you can see it well enough. But anyway, it's all coily and twisty and, and very cool. I love this. Love this type. This is really cool, but it's really bulky and it's really difficult to get through um, the spinning wheel. So I'm going to have to get a bulky flyer <laughs> for my spinning wheel. Trying to get this through there is really hard. Oh, yes, Jonna, I had somebody tell me that um, they would put this around their neck and wear it, just like, you know, just like this. <laughs> that would be fun. Now, my favorite so far, I guess, that, well, the coils are kind of my favorite, so this would be my second favorite. But this one is also thick and thin, but I have plied it with a gold thread. And I think you guys can probably see the sparkly, but let me see if I can pick it up like this maybe and move it. I don't know if you guys can see the gold. Oops, lost my hanger. I don't know if you guys can see the gold, but this is, I love this. The colors of it, this fall colors, I love it. And the gold, I don't know if you guys can even see. Okay, it's very hard to see on camera. There's a gold thread running through there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but we'll give it a shot here and then, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I've jumped in with both feet and <laughs> going for it. I'm trying to keep a tag with notes as to how many yards there is. Um, yeah, it's it's um, interesting. <laughs> so anyway, that's... Um, that's the yarn end of things, and uh, it's been keeping me really busy. I've got all three wheels out, and they've all got things going on them, <laughs> different things. And then, of course, I'm separating the locks. Now you separate the locks, and um, see, this is a lock. See how curly it is? Isn't it cute? <laughs> But I'm making kits to do cuff bracelets and boot toppers. So um, hopefully things will go well in that area. And then I'll do more for next year. We'll see how it goes. This is the first time I've done things like this. So um, don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yes, it can be used for doll hair, um, felting, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. But it's so, this tease water is so soft. And it was a covered sheep. It wore a coat the whole time. So pretty. Love it, love it. Okay, um, that's about all I've been doing is yarn, making yarn and washing wool. Uh, <laughs> the only thing I've knitted are the boot toppers. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to think. Seems like I had another project I started before I got into this, and then, oh, here it is. Here it is, here's a scarf. I'm got it in a plastic bag because I didn't want it to leave it out. So this, let me see, I'm all, I've got two um, skeins of yarn on here at the same time, I really don't. Don't want to take them out of the bag, but I'll leave them in there. Anyway, this is a scarf, and 
there's two skeins of yarn. We have a solid blue and then a rainbow, uh, a rainbow color colorway that changes as you knit it. And it's got a lacy, see the lace when I open it like this? Of course, when I block it, you know, you'd be able to see it, but it's um, kind of a wing shape and it gets bigger as you go. And it makes like a wing. This is a really, really cool pattern. And I was thinking about pulling the points down. Somebody did that and it kind of looks like a dragon wing. I love that idea. Really love that idea. But you can see the colors and it progresses as it goes goes along and it gets longer. It's really cool. And it's easy to do. It's not, not difficult at all. Easy to do. So that's something else I've got in progress. Apparently we have a yarn show. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Yeah, the dragon wing one was what caught my eye for that pattern. It's fantastic. And then this one I've had going for a while. This is a travel project because it's so simple. I mean, you guys know what granny squares look like probably. This is a triangle shawl. And I haven't gotten real far, but you guys can kind of see where I'm going with that. But it's a travel project. I don't even have to look at this most of the time. So, <laughs> like I said, it goes in the truck because I can't do um, many fiddly things in the truck. My husband's truck is kind of bouncy. So I keep crocheting and I've got an afghan somewhere that goes in the truck. <laughs> it's a truck project. Yes, I have different projects. That one's a truck project. Um, let's see. Oh, there's my jar of peanuts. I wonder where that went. I think I was hiding them from hubby. <laughs> he eats everything. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've got a couple more projects on there, but I can't show you that because that belongs to somebody. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can't, can't put that on camera right now. Um, hmm. Oh, I was going to um, work up some of these little crochet bags with uh, some of the tails on them, the, the locks, you know, up here at the top. I thought that would be cute, but I sell this pattern at, at the show, so I could remind me, I got to print some more of those. Maybe I got one left, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. <laughs> Only one. That's a very good thing. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I guess I could show you. No, not really. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out. Let's see. <laughs> How about spinning fiber? <laughs> I should use some spinning fiber. Okay, this is uh, processed wool roving. Um, actually, this is probably combed top, but people use it interactively and they shouldn't <laughs> there's a difference in combed and carded but I think this is a combed top yes this is a combed top okay so it's it means all the fibers are aligned straight when it's combed it's um, straight um, carding it mixes it all up so that's one look at that yummy Yummy, yummy. <laughs> and then I bought these three and I'm going to mix them to make a gradient. So you know how you mix parts of, of paint? Well, it's the same kind of thing with, with yarn. You get the roving and you can blend on a hackle, which is this critter. This is one I've made and I've broken it three times already. So I ordered a real one that's made out of steel. <laughs> so anyway, you make your roving with one of these things and you can blend, um, blend your colors, blend your fibers. You can add Angelina sparklies. You can do all kinds of neat things. But anyway, it's working kind of off a, a turquoise seafoam green 
um, kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to do a color progression to do uh, a gradient shawl. So that's what that's what these are going to do. And if I have any left, it'll get blended into other things. And those of you who knit might know uh, the name Malabrigo. Um, this stuff is so soft and it's merino. Very, very soft. Um, they usually do yarns, but they recently have put out spinning fiber. So I can't wait to play with that. But I'm going to have to blend it with something, I'm sure. And I get all the, the blues, you know, the blue purple, the blue violet kind of thing going on. This one is, let's see, most of this is BFL, which is Blue Face Lester. Um, and that's what this is, BFL. And it's rather yummy. I'm not real thrilled with the white parts that have come out in this one. Uh, sometimes the dye doesn't get all the way in the pot, you know, get everything. So um, this one's going to get blended with other things. So I can get that white out of there because I really don't like the white part. And this I showed you is uh, the tiny sock yarn. Um, I have drop spindles where the tops uh, come off. And so I can change, close that drawer. <laughs> I can change what I uh, spin at a drop of a hat. So this just screws on and there's my, there's my spindle, okay? And I have two of those. And lots of shafts for the yarn, <laughs> or extras. Love to have extras. So anyway, that's, um, this fiber is fantastic. Merino, cashmere, and silk. Look at this. Oh, isn't that yummy? Yummy, yummy, yummy. And I was doing it on the drop spindle, but I may change to the wheel because I need to spin a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> Very neat. Oh, I love these colors. But you see the, the blue and the violet. It's just the teal. It's just, I love this color set. This is just gorgeous. I bought two of those rubbings. Went a little cuckoo with that one, but that's okay. No deal. Oh, you guys know what this is. This is a DVD tower. You, know, you buy blank DVDs for your computer. And I just, I use these for everything. They store very nicely. Good project pocket. Love those things. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually do anything today or not. I don't have any projects going on that I can jump into. Let me see what's on the shelf up here. This is uh, what's in here. Oh, this is the motorcycle. Okay. This is the Hubster's motorcycle. Whoops. I had to start it over again. Shows entangle. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> but this is Hubby's motorcycle. I haven't inked it yet, but I've pen, you know, I penciled it, um, and I traced it from the other drawing. I I had made a mistake. I couldn't fix it because I had inked it already. And he saw it. He goes, "What's that?" <laughs> it was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be on the motorcycle. So this is his motorcycle. Oh, here's the, yeah. Here's the picture of it. It was parked out front when I took that. And um, yeah, so that's the motorcycle. And then I'm drawing it <sighs> or trying to. So we shall see. Um, I My ink mojo just hasn't been there recently. So I haven't been able to, to do it. Um, let me see. This, oh, this is a Robin Marie class or is this? No, this is the... What is this? This is the Dina Wakely class. That's what that is. Yeah, that's for the Dina Wakely class. Yeah, we're taking inks and not covering the whole page. And, and this is an online class. I can't remember what it's called now or where I've been taking it from. I had to put it down for quite a while, actually. This is another class. This is probably Andy Skinner's class. Oh, no, Seth Apter. Sorry. <laughs> 
that's from. This is a um, semi-zentangle kind of thing. Um, but I've got, actually, more than one thing going on here. So I'm going to um, do a black and white zentangling, of course, and uh, the little heart shape. I finally got it the way I wanted, and uh, it's over here. And then um, the book, you see how, and I got this from online. This is not my idea. got this from online, and I can't think of her name right now. But I just, you know, you just put a little watercolor book together and do shapes. And um, so you can see there's going to be something here that follows the front cover, you know, that kind of thing. So that's what that is. And all of this I started last year before my mom broke her leg. And then once everything came to a screeching halt, and here it still sits. <laughs> so let's see. And then, oh, I've got some... Um, Stenciled feathers. Let's see what's this. Oh, I was testing something. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, it doesn't look like much, does it? <laughs> oh, what's back here? Let's see. I've got more books back here. Oh, here's the other journal. Oh, I know I've showed you guys this before. Yeah, this was my first, my first journal. Um, 2004. I started this in 2004. A lot of writing because that's what I do. And there's post-it notes and there's some sketching and you know, there's just, you know, little things that it's a precursor to Fluffy. <laughs> so everything went in here. All of the journaling and uh, all of that. Um, gluing in uh, when I started blogging, I started gluing that in here. I don't know why. Um, paint tests and, and a walk in the neighborhood with the dog on the roof and pigeon walking in front of me and, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, went to a retreat in Dallas and there's lots of pictures from that. I know I've showed you guys this. I've done a flip through of this before. Lots of trades and things, but this is just one of those composition books, and I've covered it and um, put some contact, you know, clear contact paper on the back of it, because usually um, I set it down in something. <laughs> That's why I don't do my covers usually until I'm finished with the journal. Okay, so let me put that back in here. Um, which step after class? I don't remember, Jonna. If you will ask me later. I will look it up for you. I have an external drive that has all my classes on it. So I will be able to tell you uh, later. <laughs> uh, it's an online class. I can't remember. Um, I don't know. It was a DVD, I think, actually. Might have been a DVD. I don't remember. Anyway, it was a download. Um, yeah. Okay, so let me stick this back up here. I'm looking for my Zentangle. Um, what did I do with it? I know it's around here somewhere. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Across the room. Hang on. I'm trying not to shake the camera too much. Okay, hang on. One second. <laughs> there you are. Okay, let me show you this block. <clears throat> I think I need another drink of water. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cheap plastic. I don't know if they're trying to save money or if they just don't want so much plastic in the, the earth. I don't know <laughs> what their deal is. But I reuse the bottles many times as I think it's safe. Okay, so um, this is a block that I made. And I know I've showed you guys this before. But I get really, really... Uh, detailed in my Zentangles. I think that was the one I started with. And of course this has six sides. There we go. Yeah. I think I showed you all sides now. Recording? Yes. <laughs> I am recording. Hi, Di. <laughs> hey, HD. <laughs> okay, so...
Oh yeah, and I've showed you guys these too. Some things I was working on. Um, that's my template square. My acorn, I'm not finished with it yet. Not finished this one yet either. And then I did a, I have a, a punch that did this and I'm still playing with that. I'll eventually get them finished. Oh, who knows. This is something you don't, it's like an art journal. You don't have to finish it, you know. So um, this book is a hand book, H-A-N-D book, um, put out by Global Art Materials. So um, it's kind of like um, very soft uh, cardstock. It's, it's got a very um, soft texture. It's not shiny uh, like a Moleskina art. The Moleskina is, um, find one. <laughs> Where is the Moleskina? Okay, here we go. The Moleskina has a really smooth texture to it, and it's sh it's kind of shiny. So you can see the shine. Yeah, you can. Okay, so that's that's kind of what what a Moleskina looks like. This does not have a shine. It's very matte and it's very soft. There is no smooth. I mean, it is smooth, but it's not slippery smooth. You know what I mean? Let's see. What's this book? This one. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a Moleskina as well. This is just a sketch, but this is an older sketchbook. I've got some my peerless charts and prisma charts and from Big Ben, from Tennessee, from, I mean, there's just all kinds of things in here. <laughs> all kinds of things. I'm almost done. Got a few pages left in that one. Pen test. That one is a watercolor Moleskina. Okay, so back to the handbook. Now, the reason I got this, and I only have the one, is because the um, creators of the Zentangle thing is they um, use the handbook in their seminars. And so I thought I would give it a try. Um, I'm not really fond of it. Um, the paper's a bit thin for me. Um, I don't really like it. It um, when you color in your black, it kind of fuzzes, and I'm using the microns like they do. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I'm I'm just gonna like flip through this, and I've got things started. So I just pick it up, and you know work on it whenever I feel like it. And I've got some strings that I, you probably can't see them from there, but I've got strings on these. I just traced a tile. And then I try to transfer on that one. The entangles don't transfer too well. <laughs> too much detail, I guess. And the hand and um, dragon swirl, that's one I made up. And then there's a arch page and a flower page and there's a cat. I drew the, the silhouette of this cat um, to put on a sweater. So I drew the silhouette of the cat and cut it out of black um, fuzzy velour and put it on, applied it onto a sweater. And so I decided, I came across the shape and I decided, well let me just, you know, put it in here and I'll tangle it. So with my little cat. Um, this was a freehand butterfly that I cut out, so I decided to use that too. Um, there's some things going on. There's another one I invented. That one's for another one I invented. I haven't got it there yet. This one is, um, you put your hand down and you trace around it, but then you make it look 3D. Let me turn it. There, you can see that better. So you can make it look 3D. That's really cool. I saw that trick somewhere online. That's kind of fun. I mean, it's mindless, you know. <laughs> Just doodling. Um, I'm trying, there's a design in my head and I'm trying to get it on paper. It's kind of difficult. This is a lot of fun. You do a watercolor uh, or a spray background. This was watercolor. You do, and then you doodle on top of that. So that's fun. So I added a little bit of color and I, I uh, um, 
did this at mom's because I had some stuff and I just grabbed this book and took it. And so I did a lot, started a lot of this there. Didn't have a lot of time to do much of it, but oh, this was fun. Total arches. That was a lot of fun. Lots of fun. Oops, I have an error box. Why do I have an error box? Oh, nothing important. Let me move it if it'll let me. Come on, go away. I'll deal with you later. Okay. <laughs> Didn't mess up anything. Okay, so um, anyway, just a lot of doodles. Um, I have no idea what's going to be back there, but it's kind of a thing. And um, apparently I'm going to put border samples on this page. <laughs> More doodles and some little birds. I love making little birds. So, but I, okay, now I want to finish that. That looks like fun. That was the last thing I did. Okay. And I didn't date it, so I have no idea when that was. Probably sometime in June or July of last year. So that's, I like that. That's cool. I haven't looked in here in a while. Yep, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so I maybe we'll zentangle today. <laughs> maybe we'll just do some tangling. Okay, I gotta put my hair up. It's still wet, but I've gotta clip it up now. It's bugging me. Broke my hair clip. It's got teeth missing out of the middle. So it barely holds. And it's my favorite clip. If I can get my curls to do what they're supposed to do up there. Okay, there. Now, it's up off my neck. That's what counts. It's up off my neck. Um, let me see. Hmm. I'm looking for my other sketchbook. Hold on. Gotta find it. It's here somewhere. No, that's not it. This is my sketch sketchbook. <laughs> that's not what I was looking for. Maybe it's in my kit. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> my throat pick. Maybe it's in my kit. Let's see. I don't really want to put it on there. Maybe that's it. No, that's not it. I can tell already. This has just barely gotten started. That's not it. Not what I was looking for. Hold on. Sketchbooks everywhere. The little one. No, that's the one with the light. That's not it. This is my um, sketch kit to go. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I think it's a tablet um, case. No, that's not it either. Well, maybe I left it at mom's. I will do that occasionally. Leave stuff. Okay, I can't find it, so I'm going to have to give up. Anyway, um, let's see, what's this? Yeah, what is this? It's a face sketch. Watercolor paper, some tape. Oh, I think I took this camping. This is a sketchbook. A lion. Yeah, there's a lot of, first time my cat saw a squirrel, of course that was from 2003. <laughs> yeah, I took it camping, there's trees, and that kind of thing in here, another tree, doodles, designs, I was going to carve a stamp, testing pencils, 
more testing pencils, design ideas, a quick five minute sketch, another quick five minute sketch. This is an old book. Faces, pencil tests. And that may be it. Okay, so let's hit that one. Okay, that was hmm, interesting. <laughs> I haven't looked in there in a while. Let's see where is um No, this isn't it either. Not what I was looking for. I'm this is what I made online guys. There's a stream about this. I probably on YouTube. Where I made the folder and then did the challenge. That's not what I was looking for either. Oh yeah, here's the one I made online. This one. And then I perfected it, so I made another one. <laughs> This, what is this? This is, oh, this is uh, Effie Wilde's Book of Days um, class. I know I've come through this before, too. Beatles song. And as you can see, I got stopped with that, too. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on. Things I don't get back to and don't get to finish, but that's okay. We shall deal. Let's see, what is this one? This one is okay. This is my original art journal. Oh, yeah, I haven't put through here in a while. Let's see if this inspires me to do anything. Magazines, dilution sprays. Yeah, here's what we need today. Rain. <laughs> Please. Rain. Oh, that's this is what I used the Tim Holtz marker on. And I was not happy with the tip of it. This um, picket fence distress marker. That's what I used through a stencil, and I was coloring it like this. Well, it really messed up the tip. And um, she told me to just flip it over. Well, okay, fine, but, you know, I don't really care for those. That's the only one I'll ever have. Got enough markers. I have the whole Tombow set and a whole pit pen set, and I don't really need any more markers. Um, I don't know what I was doing here, but I did gesso the page first. This has no gesso. This, uh, this was, yeah, this is all dilutions, and this is the spray. This is the spray, the white spray. This is just waste. I haven't really done anything with that. Just rolled off some uh, paper towel. This is an old one. Um, I kind of leave these lettering things for when I go somewhere. And then, of course, I forget to take the journal. <laughs> it doesn't get done. <laughs> that one's black. I had an idea at the time I did it. I knew what I was going to put there, but I've totally forgotten it by now. This is, um, oh, I gessoed first and then put dilutions on. And, uh, yeah, these two pages have gesso and dilutions. Just cleaning off baby wipes or something. Um, there's a page there. Not quite done. Almost. But not quite. See, that's not fastened down yet. There's a little bit of journaling there. This was before the class. Oh, yeah. And I was using the pit. This is the. Um, 
white dilutions and then the pit markers over that and then the sketching. So I left myself a progression so I could tell what I was doing. So using the drawing through a stencil, using the white through the stencil, um, putting the marker on top in two different colors and then finishing it with the detail of the pen. So I left myself a progression so I'd remember what I did because if I didn't do that, I go, how did I do that? Oh, this was one of those challenges. That's a mess. <laughs> I'm going to, I don't like that at all. It didn't come out very well. Things were in the wrong order. Uh, cleaning off stencils. Uh, gesso, a little more gesso, a little more gesso. And there, cleaning off with a card and acrylic paint. Cleaning off stencils. Yeah, there's a lot of cleaning off stencils in the back of this here and I think that's it other than cleaning off stuff yeah. okay so this is the first journal that I got and then I got one for class with Diane and this one was October 2013 I think and she signed the page for me, which I took out and moved. <laughs> and so I was trying to fill it with things that I remembered or things I just wanted to experiment with. This was done in class. We did a lot in class. And we tore all the pages out and I ended up putting them back in where I wanted them later which was fine. My book, I can do that. I love that stencil. That is such a cool stencil. This is a Dina Wakely stencil. Just lots of things and I just want to look at it. I don't feel like doing any of it. Isn't that pitiful? <laughs> All the stuff in here and I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, let's see, how long have I been on? I've been over an, I think about an hour, I guess. Maybe, maybe not that long. I still haven't done anything that shows stuff. Well, sometimes it just works out that way. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> All kinds of things. What in the world? Oh, that must have been my hand or something. <laughs> Odd. haven't gotten everything in here covered, but I'm working on it. Get all the background done, cleaning the stencils. So that's the second journal. And that was the class one. And what's this one? Oh, this is the, this is the uh, Donna Downey. She started uh, classes um, every quarter. She had a new new group every week. There was something every week. So that's what this journal was for. Um, I imagine now, though, I, see I got stopped with that too, so I didn't get to finish. But anyway, I got some of it started, the texture part anyway, on these. So I guess I'll just go back and, you know, try to do it whenever I feel like it because I've got the whole book. Of course, now she's got the um, Inspiration Wednesday thing going again. Um, and she's charging for it this time. <laughs> I'll just go back to YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, this is for Donna Downey inspired stuff. And 
And then I've got three. I've got three more of these. I was lucky. Oh, it was open. Lucky enough to find them um, half price um, on Amazon. I think it was an accident, but I'm not sure <laughs> how that got there. But anyway, um, when Lifebook first started in 2012, I um, I was doing quite well starting out, and then of course I got stopped by something. I don't know what it was, and so there's a lot of a lot of things unfinished that I'm going to go ahead and uh, slip them into this journal. So I've got all of that to go. So that's another life book. And then get that one out. Something major happened and I couldn't do 2013. So this one is going to be 2013 and 2014 combined. So I've got uh, my 2014, I started to put it in here. And uh, you know, there you go. Again, <laughs> started, didn't get very far. But you know, I have to learn to let go of that. I, you know, it happens all the time, and there's nothing I can do about that. So that's why my word for this year is renew. That's my word for this year. So it's renew my attitude. You know, because, I mean, there's a lot of things that I can't help. I mean, you know, there's things that are out of my control. And I just have to renew my attitude and think, okay, this is fine. I know this happens. You know, every time I start something, I get stopped. And, you know, I can't help that. It's just circumstances, you know. So, hey, you just got to deal with it. So one day at a time, one thing at a time. You know, nothing's going anywhere. <laughs> it will wait for me. So that's, you know, I just have to, to relax. Just relax and enjoy. Hey, Janet. Hey, Mitzi. <laughs> Jean, hello. Marie. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have all the, you know, um, you're allowed to download the recordings and, and your class materials, you know, your PDF files and things. And it's there. I have an external drive that just has my class stuff on it. And I've got Photoshop classes. I've got Lifebook, you know. Um, I've, I mean, there are so many things. The Seth Apter class. There's so many things. Uh, Dean Wakely class. Um, I mean, they're just, it's a whole, you know, but the whole drive is just for my classes and it's not going anywhere because I have backups. <laughs> so it's, it's just, you know, I do what I do when I can do it. That's just, that's just how it's going to have to be. And um, that's fine. You know, it's, um, I'm, I'm pretty lucky that I get to, you know, pretty much enjoy myself without having to work right now. So I'm uh, pretty lucky there. And I just have to think about that. You know, it's like, okay, I, I pretty much get to do what I want when I do it, you know, when I want to do it most of the time. So I'm good. Just have to uh, think about that every day. Just one day at a time and go forward. Don't go backwards, go forwards. So I know that all that class stuff is there whenever I feel like doing it. Maybe, you know, five years from now. Who knows? But it's cool. It's there. So, yay. <laughs> okay, let's do a Zentangle. Okay, now I need my glasses. Hello. Glasses would be good. Pins would be good, too. You grab my... Uh, 
usual set. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, let me get a uh, little help here from my notebook. Oh, this is something else I need to update. This is um, my Zentangle notebook. And um, I think I have an email where she has come out with the one from 2014 now. So I have to update my uh, book. Okay, hold on, blow the nose again. Goodness. <laughs> Charlotte wanted to say hi. <laughs> I love that chicken. <clears throat> okay, um, so what I've done is just cut, uh, printed out each page and cut it up and alphabetize it in here and flip through here and see if I can get some inspiration. Oh, how about Bunzo? Let's do Bunzo. So I've got this on rings so that it flips around for me. Get my number one and I'm just going to start doodling somewhere on the page. I'm going to do this. Okay, so Gonna fill all this, make y'all watch me fill all this in, but I'll get that started. Anyway, you get the idea that every other one is going to get filled in. Okay, so making arches, and sometimes they'll come together and sometimes they won't. That's gonna get colored in. So you just kind of play around with it. Oh, hello, my pen's skippy. Guess it's running out of ink. Hello, <laughs> not that. Not the running out of ink thing. Guess I'll just have to draw a little slower. This is uh, an interesting and I guess you can make it you know any sizes that you want. But it kind of grows off itself. It's really cool. The shading is re what really makes this one. It's really cool. Make it look 3D. We'll have that one go sideways. <laughs> so then he'll come around this way. And grow into something else. And he's going to go off this way. And then we're going to do this. I need a new pen. <laughs> you can hear it scratch. Ooh, tip is really messed up. Maybe this will get me drawing the motorcycle. <laughs> he keeps asking me every day, where's the motorcycle? It's still over there. I don't know, my, my drawing mojo hasn't been with me. And we'll do that. Uh, 
group tweet? What? <laughs> oh, I see. Well, what do y'all think? Should we do Jimmy John's for lunch today? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, I'm going to make... Where's my... Oh, I've got to find my number eight. Where is my number eight? There it is. I color things in a little faster. I have this one. And I find if you use smooth lines... You don't get that, ch -ch 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 -ch, you know, bit. Because on this paper, that does show up. That's probably another reason I don't like this paper. It pills. Let me fix that. I'm going to join that and join that. And then I think I want to come in and do... I know y'all probably can't even see that, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Okay, so let me color some of this in because you can't really see what it looks like. Until you start filling it in properly. And normally I'd be turning this book all the way, you know, every which way, but I mean, I don't even know if you guys can see this because I don't have it in very close. Maybe I should do that. Let me put the camera in. If I, I can find the camera. Oh. Okay. My laptop screen has like six windows open. <laughs> find it. Where did the camera go? <laughs> that was weird. Um, hmm. Now I don't want you to do that. Come on. A little cooperation, please. Okay. There it is. Behind everything. Let's see if we can uh, get closer so you can see what the heck I'm doing. It looks a little fuzzy to me. Okay, that's as close as I can get. All right, let me get the chat back up here in the front. Okay, there. All right, that's as close as I can get it. And I don't know if I take this away because it's shiny. Would that help? I don't know if that helps or not. Let me see. Because I don't know how to get it any clearer than that. Let me do a close-up. Maybe it'll... Maybe it will, uh, there, okay, there we go, focusing. That's a little bit better. Let's see if it can hold the focus. No, I don't have autofocus on, so it's not going to hold. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll work with it this way. That's all right. Okay, so I'm just going to continue color in some of the black. And, yeah, I'm going to need a new pen. That one's really... Running out of ink. I'll save that for something else. And you kind of have to choose where your black's going to go. Now, if I do really tiny tangling, you guys are not going to be able to see it at all. So I'm going to try to keep it. Um, a little bigger. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not real crazy about this paper. Yeah, let me make 
tidak melakukan semangat berat. Hmm, I hear the rooster. One of my neighbors has chickens. Rhode Island Reds. And uh, the rooster's having a good time out there. But I don't see the sun. <laughs> I do not see the sun. So I don't know what he's crowing about. I'm going to leave that one with a white edge. So that means I'm going to narrow that one up a little bit. This one I want a black edge on, so I'm going to narrow the white one. Because sometimes it just doesn't look right. You have to kind of fix it as you go. Sometimes you need a white edge, sometimes you need a black edge. Now someone's banging on something. Maybe that's what the rooster was out of all, all on about out there. It's like a watchdog. Instead of barking, he crows. And I want a black edge on that one, so I'm gonna fudge that a little bit. Goodness, people, what are y'all doing out there? Knock it off. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up or not. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. One thing about these markers, they are not exactly, the, I mean, the ink is not exactly the same color. And, you know, you just look at it and you can't tell. But as I'm, as I'm coloring, coloring in, you know, filling in, I can see that the ink is just slightly off. It's not exactly the same color. Holy smokes. Shaking my windows. Uh, let me guess, that car had no muffler. <laughs> we live on a corner, so it gets really noisy. But, jeez. <laughs> that was bad. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. You might could have. <laughs> really loud. I don't know, sometimes these guys teenagers it's so loud with their music the bass you know they get carried away with the bass and they come around the corner and shake the windows like hello we live here do you mind I like that idea. Do that with this one. Trying not to get my head in the camera, but I'm still trying to get down here so I can see. A little unsteady on that one, but that's okay. Look it out. I'm going to fix this one now. Too narrow.
Okay, that's better. Okay, now I need, I need, I need, um, I want a ribbon to go off this way. And I think we're going to stripe the ribbon. We're going to do two, yeah, we're going to do it two, two different lines. So I'm going to do thick lines. About that far apart. And then I'm going to come back with my number one and do one next to it on that side. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that, but let me raise it up. Oh, 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 hello, where am I? Over here. <laughs> okay, I don't even know if it'll focus on that second line. You can see there's a second line there. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to start with that there. I'm going to do circles over here, I think. Let me get my five. And I'm going to do circles on this end. Turn the book. I have to lean it up on myself. Okay, there. So dot, dot. And eventually we'll get to where we can make open circles. I was kind of hoping this weekend that uh, Hubs and I would get to go out to eat, but um, looks like the weather's going to be bad. Um, our 39th anniversary was uh, a couple weeks ago, and we haven't gotten to go out yet. <laughs> Let's see, what am I going to do with this one? I think I'm going to do... Just do some lines like that, and then take my 005. I know you guys are not going to be able to see this, but that's okay. That's here. I'll tweet a picture. I'm going to do some tiny lines on every other space. No, it's not at any point showing the camera. I know you can't see it. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Try to stay in the camera while I'm doing it, though. So I'm just making some tiny lines so it kind of puts in a shadow. Without actually being a shadow. Goes that car on the other side of the street. Wow, little rascal. My hands are not as steady as they could be, let me tell you. Some days are better than others. Okay, that's where I want to go with that one. Now let's see. Hmm, what next? Not sure. <laughs> Go 
glad y'all are just chatting away over there. <laughs> See if I can do it with the brush without making a mess. Now, if I got the black one and not the blue one, okay. All right, so I've got the the micron brush, so I'm going to give this a shot over here. Instead of all that coloring, my hands are steady enough where I can make the outline. Oops, I got a little off the line. I'm going to have to turn the book. Okay. Now I'm on the side. Don't obliterate my lines. Like I said, some days this works better than others. I think I'm going to go at it from this way. Move my whole arm instead of just the wrist. It's the only way to get it. There. That's better. That's more contrast. Much better. Okay, now where's my 005 again? There we go. Now I'm going to put some tiny lines into. This structure instead of filling it in. I'm going to curve them just a little bit so it looks like it's curved piece. Uh oh, so my hand in the ink. Okay. Not a good thing. Oh yeah, that's what it needed. Okay, now let's see. Oh, I know what I want to do. I don't remember what this is called, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> it's because I don't remember what it's called. I don't know that that's dry yet. Hurry up. Okay, now I'm going to start here. So I love this one. I th think it might be called Anti Dots. Not sure. But you can do it without picking up your pen at all if you want. And you can just have it grow any which way. I like to do three. I don't know why. I just do. And we'll do some curlies coming out of it. I've had it. <laughs> Energy is gone. <laughs> I need to go eat some lunch. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll keep this recording up there or not, but um, there wasn't a whole lot going on here today. <laughs> Uh, 
but we shall see. So I will let y'all go, and I'll see you at Barb's, and I think I'm going to get Jimmy John's for lunch. That sounds really good. I know, there's a lag. <laughs> so I will see you guys next week, and see you at Barb's. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good weekend. Bye.